Hello and welcome to how to use absolute world position nodes in materials. So the absolute world position node basically returns the X, Y, Z coordinate of a pixel in the world. So how can this be useful? Well, let's say we've got our red and blue mix here happening inside of a lerp. Uh, lerp here is mixing between blue and red as 0.5, so we get a nice purple between them. But let's say I take this absolute world position here, and I want to take X, Y, Z. And if I if you're in 5.2, you'll find that this has now been split into two separate ones as well. In 5.1 and before, you'll find it's just one pin. For everyone, I'm going to assume that you're using 5.1 or less, so it's going to take from the top pin here. And you can do a mask and do a component mask. This mask basically helps you filter out X and Y separately from the Z. And if I want to make it Z only, I just use the B on its own. As you can see in 5.2, they've taken that out and made it. You don't need to do this mask. You can just use one of these pins instead. So this is essentially is the same as me dragging from the Z value here. So let's just take from that Z value here in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this by a number. And I'm going to divide it by a thousand. And I'm going to clamp this value between 0 and 1. And then plug that into my alpha. So what is going to be happening here? So what the Z is going to do here is return the height value of each pixel. And it's going to divide by 1,000. So let's say the height of the Z pixel here is 1,500. Divide that by 1,000 will give you 1.5. Clamp that between 0 and 1. It becomes 1, which means it becomes blue. But let's say it's actually lower than 1,000. Let's say it's at 500. 500 is going to return 0 0.5, which is clamped between 0 and 1. And that will go and pick a mix between the two, giving us purple. So what this will do, if I apply this and go to my testing block here, you can see as I raise my testing block up and down, it changes colors. And you can see here, it changes colors based upon where the pixels are not where the ob object is as you can see here this one is more purple more blue than the ones down here and i can further that more by just spreading out these cubes even further i just drag that up further like that and this one further down like this you can see how different they actually are so you can feed it coordinate data and work out the color of something based upon their distance from that point all we have to do is divide the number by whatever distance we want here. Now, how can this be used elsewhere? Well, you can also use this for wild position offset to push things away from a set location, such as the player's location. It has a commonly used tool for that. And there we have it. That's the absolute world position node. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more how-to videos in Unreal Engine, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching. Make sure you've subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye.